and we have a conclusion from the greatest show on earth, ladies and gentlemen. Arena Sabalenka upsets Iga Fiontech and she gets the victory. This was a very good match, ladies and gentlemen. Arena Sabalenka showed her variety today and she served very well. Three aces, zero double faults. We can remember a couple years ago when Arena Sabalenka was just on a double fault tier, averaging 20 plus double faults a match. The media just dogged her out. They literally said, look, she has... She's not going to go anywhere in tennis unless she fixes her serve. And she did that. And she served amazing today. And if she serves like this next year, she could literally win all four Grand Slams because she's powerful enough to blast anyone off of the court. She gets a victory here. And look, her team is headed towards the championship match. They, they need just two more points. In terms of Iga, literally, she had to defend from the back foot most of this match deep behind the baseline. Like I said, look, if you want to beat Iga Swiatek, you have to push her back behind the baseline six to eight feet. Rabakina is really good at doing that, which is why, look, covering the tiebreak yesterday, seeing this tragedy in a very important match, Rabakina needed to win. She did this that. Sapolinka did the same thing today, but mixed in the short balls. You got a chance to see the vertical speed of Iga Swiatek that I've been talking about for a while. Now, I watch a lot of the players on tour, but I study their games to see, look, I'm looking for key elements to their game, you know, for different purposes. You know, when I'm doing predictions, when I'm watching matches, I'm giving advice. Iga Fiontech had to defend the short ball today, and it was very frustrating. Iga doesn't play a lot of doubles anymore. She used to. Remember, as a junior, she won the Rolling Girls with Kat McNally, the junior doubles. And her uh, longtime junior partner, Maya Chawalinska, what's up with her, Iga? You can't get her in the World Tennis League with her? But if I'm not mistaken, Maya won like, um, I want to say she won like 41 matches last year. I think she, she didn't do too well uh, recently towards the end of this season. But nonetheless, hopefully she can get it together. Iga's fiance loses this match. And what's next for Sabalenka and team? Look, they're probably headed towards the championship match. This is a good exhibition. You know, a lot of people don't really take it seriously, but there's a lot of money up for grabs here. And the players are really competing. I mean, let's just be honest. Unless you're winning a Grand Slam on tour, most players aren't really making a lot of money outside of sponsors. And the sponsors are really for the top 10, top 20 players. So these events like this, players are here. They're having fun, but they're also competing, giving their all. <clears throat> Sabalenka said in the post-match interview, she said, look, it's always great to play Iga. She wanted to really come out and help her team win. And she did exactly that, guys. So congratulations to Arena Sabalenka. She is really showing a lot of maturity lately. And I think she's developing into a very beautiful, classy woman. Look, all the players on tour, they're all amazing. We all know that. This channel, for the most part, we dedicate to highlighting these amazing professional athletes. So congratulations to Arena Sabalenka. And look, these are the group standings pretty darn good now listen are you guys familiar with the teams or, or should we go should we do a rundown of the teams now listen the eagle squad guys that's uh medvedev that's uh who uh, rublev that's mira and dreva and sophia big game cannon the falcons we know that's taylor fritz <clears throat> We know that's uh, Serana Kirstea, that's Elena Rabakina, and that's Nagal. And who do we have on the Hawks team? We know that's H squared, Big Hubie, Igas Viantek, Bonjo Komotele Vu, Carolyn Garcia, and Casper Rude. And uh, let's see, on the Kite Squad, we have Stefanos, Paula Badosa, Vamos. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Dimitrov and Arena Sabalenka. Those are your teams. And uh, enjoy, guys. Looks like Arena Sabalenka. It looks like the kites are headed towards a championship. Tennis in a minute. Like the video. Show some love. We'll be right back.